remember how as children we went through a phase where we weren't keen to try new foods. And if you have children right now, then I think you'll know exactly what we're talking about. Andrea Duplessis is here this morning to give us great tips on how to make nutritious food interesting for children so that they can get everything that they need. Morning, Andrea. Hi. So why is it that children just love to hate vegetables? Well, if you think where vegetables are introduced after they weaned off um, mother's milk or formula, um, the, the vegetables that children tend to love more are the sweeter ones, yeah. like sweet potato and butternut. And it's always a challenge to get the green vegetables into mm. their bodies, like the Brussels sprouts and that. And it's often because the digestive system only really um, develops later yeah. to, di to digest the green vegetables. Yeah. Now, I know that a lot of us have not outgrown, you know, the love of things like butternuts and potatoes yes. and things like that. But I see that you do have some healthier options over here. How do we incorporate things like these to make food interesting but still keep it nutritious? Well, um, one idea is to incorporate those greens into a muffin. Yeah. So I'm going to show you how easy that is to make. Oh, wow. And it's an ideal lunchbox treat. You know, you can Very pack nice. these into children's lunch boxes. You take one of these packets of pre-mixed bran muffin mix yes, yes. and follow the instructions on the back. It's quite easy. You can All see right. I've just put these two eggs in here, some sunflower seed oil, some milk. You whisk that up and then you add the bran muffin mix. So if I can make it, anybody can make it. The children can also have fun <laughs> exactly. making it. Now, had I gotten this as a child, I think I would have enjoyed the whole process of having healthier things so much better. And what we're going to do here is to incorporate the veggies into this mix. And you can have a whole variety of vegetables. So anything from the butternut that's well-loved to mushrooms, mm. grated courgette or baby marrow. Um, we've got some feta nice. and also some corn and um, spinach and cheese. Now, while you're mixing that up, muffins are one way of getting kids to eat vegetables by, you know, doing something a bit different with it. What are other things that parents can incorporate to get the kids to eat vegetables? Well, a, a very easy thing is actually to make a, a spaghetti bolognese yeah, sauce. Nice. So you can make your tomato and mint sauce and okay. add some, once again, grated um, baby marrow or courgette yes. and mushrooms in there because that okay. goes quite well. So I see that you've added some baby marrow in there. Now we're putting some spinach. Yes, some spinach. Some spinach, into, spinach into muffins. Pretty interesting. Yes. Uh, you see you've also got some corn. And then you're going to be putting in some mushrooms and some butternut as well. So it's almost like if you think about making a pizza, you, yeah. you can add any toppings that you want with nice. a muffin, as long as they're not um, tomatoes and things that will, yes. will have lots of moisture. And I think the feta cheese will also... Be quite nice in there. in there. Um, yes, so let's just mix this through. So we've got some green veg and we've got some there yellow veg go. in there. And I think maybe a few pieces fantastic. of butternut as well. And this is not just for kids, I mean for adults especially, this can you know, also help to get adults who don't necessarily love eating vegetables to eat vegetables as well. Thanks for saying <laughs> that, because I mean these muffins to pack in as a, a snack meal at work is there just ideal. Very nice. Now when it comes to supplementation, is there things that we can also use to supplement our diets with? Yes, naturally there are nutritional supplements mm -hmm. like multivitamins, you get yeah. these lovely chewable multivitamins nice. that obviously cater to a child's nutritional needs. Um, and those can be taken daily with breakfast. Right. And as you can see here, this can be, it's, it's so quick and easy to make. If you've got a little bit more time in the morning, uh, maybe that's a bit of a challenge, but maybe the night before or over the weekend to make these muffins. It's really simple. You just scoop this mixture into your pre greased pan. And then obviously for some extra nutrition, you can wow. sprinkle some sunflower seeds on the top. They're really nice if they get toasted. So Lovely. it almost makes like a toasted crust of the sunflower seeds. And of course then when we're done this is what they would come out, this is what they would look like. Very healthy, very nutritious and if I just break this one open in the middle, look at that. All the goodness on the inside. Well if you missed any other steps on what we did to make these, check this out. Place eggs, oil and milk into a bowl and whisk. Add bran muffin mix and stir. Mix in chopped vegetables and stir to combine. Spoon into a greased muffin tray, then sprinkle with sunflower seeds. Bake in a 180 degree oven for 10 to 15 minutes. Thank you so much, Andrea. People can get you on your Facebook page, right? Yes, um, moms that want to ask questions about nutrition for their children and anybody else, um, my Facebook page address is Andrea Duplessis Vital Expert. There we go. Go on, parents. You can definitely try this. This is a great way to get your kids to eat healthily, but um, in a very interesting way. Yummy.
For 30 rand a year, you can subscribe to the Vitalize magazine and receive nutritional advice, fitness tips and amazing recipes. Visit vital.coza today.